Hello friends, this video on p-block elements part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next important uh, compound in the nitrogen family is ammonia. That is NH3. We'll talk about the preparation. See, in nitro, this ammonia is present in small quantity in air and soil. It is by default there. It is generally formed by decay of nitrogenous organic metal, for example, urea. Urea from urea, by the decay of uh, this urea, you get NS3 naturally. The reaction goes like this NS2, CO, NS2. It takes like it presents some water and moisture. You get NS4, 2CO3, and some. This becomes okay, again rare and becomes NS3 plus H2 plus CO2. That is the reaction actually. This is how ammonia is produced naturally. But on the large scale, Haber's process is used. Haber's process. This is to prepare nitrogen on the large scale. Right? So in the Haber's process, The typical reaction is N2 plus 3H2 gives 2NH3. It is a little complicated reaction, a complicated steps, but the overall reaction is nitrogen plus hydrogen gives ammonia and delta H is minus 46.1 kilojoule per mole. Right? It happens at a high pressure, very very high pressure. That is nothing but 200 into 10 to the power 5 Pascal. And uh, temperature is almost 700 Kelvin and it also needs some catalyst for example iron oxide K2O Al2O3 etc. So high pressure actually favors the formation of ammonia as per Lee Chartley principle. This is the apparatus used hydrogen and nitrogen direct from the air actually. There is a compressor to create high pressure and there's a from here both these are mixed and the catalyst is used and produce NH3 or whatever is remaining again N2 and H2 again recycled right and again it comes back here reacts in the presence of my catalyst at a high temperature and pressure and forms ammonia okay so this is large scale why because to create such a high pressure you need high up costly apparatus so on small scale what we do is this is large scale and talk about the small scale in small scale if you want to prepare ammonia what we do is uh, it is pro produced from the ammonium salt For example ammonium chloride you take right and these ammonium salt decomposes when you treat with caustic soda or lime for example i'll take caustic soda coh3 you react it gives NH3, H2O plus CaCl. Instead of NaCaOH2, we can also use NaOH. So let me take NH4Cl or I can take NH42SO4. Let's take this. Again, the ammonium salt to react with NaOH. It will give again NH3 gas and it will give some water molecule. And it will give an A2 SO4. Here, if you used NH4Cl plus NaOH, so it will give what? It will give NH3 plus H2O plus NaC. So you have to use uh, ammonium salt and you can use caustic soda or lime to get NH3. This is what we are doing. talk about the properties of uh, this NH3 there is ammonia this is again colorless gas this is also colorless gas but it has smell it has very bad smell pungent smell ammonia has very bad smell its freezing point uh, is not that low it has a pretty good freezing point 
is almost 198 Kelvin and the boiling point is also pretty okay 239.7 Kelvin right so if you see it has a relatively high melting and freezing point and boiling point why because of the H bond it has hydrogen bond if you see the structure this is how it is and nitrogen is more electronegative than hydrogen and it will attract electron towards itself slightly negative charge slightly positive slightly positive slightly positive charge since this has uh, slightly positive and negative charge it forms hydrogen bond right this angle is 107 degree and its length is also 107 picometer is a lone pair of electron pair right so it has a high melting and VP due to H bond right this ammonia will be tied to again ammonia there will be H bond correct and if you talk about the shape it is trigonal in shape it is trigonal in shape it is highly soluble in water why can you guess see water solubility depends on what hydrogen bond since it has hydrogen bond it is highly soluble in water we have discussed this ns3 is uh, weakly basic it is basic actually so if you see NS3 if you react with water also it will fall ammonium ions and OH minus this is basic if you react since it is basic if you react with acid it will form salt right so for example this NS3 react with some acid you take NHCl it will form NH4Cl that is salt this is again this is as basic you react with some other acid let's suppose sulfuric acid you get NH4 2 SO4. More properties this uh, ammonia it will precipitate hydroxides of many metals from their salt solution. So, for example, metals from their salt solution is my FeCl3. In this, let's suppose add NH3. So, it will the output will be Fe2O3 dot some water molecule and NH4Cl this is if you see is a brown precipitate or if you take some other uh, metal salt solution solution for example zinc sulfate in this also if you add ammonia and water what you get is ZnOH2 plus NH4-2SO4 and this is again my white precipitate so as I've told it is a Lewis base and why it has lone pair of electron and this lone pair of electron it can easily donate so it is called uh, Lewis base and it forms this uh, donates this electron and forms the linkage with metal ions and with this it forms complex and these complex helps in detecting for example if you want to detect copper ions or silver ions then this ammonia is helpful for example if you take copper ion react with the ammonia you get this deep blue uh, complex right for example you have silver ion and uh, you react with the uh, NS3 you get Ag NH3 2 plus and this is this is deep blue and this is colorless actually so this uh, ammonia is also helpful in detecting metal science we talk about the uses the first one is the fertilizers that is the prime use of ammonia it is also used to prepare uh, nitric acid very common used uh, common acid in the uh, industry nitric acids it is also used as refrigerant 
liquid ammonia is also used as refrigerant. The question is why is NS3 Lewis base? So if you see NS3, you have discussed this so many times, has extra lone pair of electron. Right? And this extra lone pair of electron is available for donation. It can donate this extra lone pair of electron. Since it donates the extra lone pair of electron, it's a Lewis space, for example, NH3 and it reacts with uh, BCl3, let's suppose. So it donates the electron and forms a bond. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get pre study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.